Welcome back to Movie Rewind. Today I will recap for you a horror, thriller, comedy movie from 2020 titled Freaky. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. Four teenagers sit around a fire, discussing a serial killer known as the Blissfield Butcher. One of the guys laughs it off as an urban legend, spilling his girlfriend's drink in the process. They go inside so she can wash up, and he stops to admire an ancient dagger labeled La Dola. He proceeds down to the wine cellar and looks through the selection, and the butcher suddenly appears behind him. The butcher uses the wine bottle to kill him, then proceeds upstairs. He kicks down the bathroom door and uses the toilet seat to crush the girl's skull. The butcher surprises the third teen with a broken tennis racket, then chases the last girl into the house. He nails her to the wall using an antique spear, and steals La Dola on his way out of the house. Millie is in her final year at Blissfield High. Her father passed away a year ago, so she now lives with her sister, Charlene, and her mother, Paula. Often the target of the school bullies, she spends most of her time with her two friends, Nyla and Josh. Millie tells them that she plans to skip the homecoming dance and go to the theater with her mom, who has been struggling ever since Millie's father passed. Josh urges her to reconsider, especially since their classmate Booker will be there, but she is adamant that she doesn't want to let her mother down. She arrives to class late and sits down beside her crush, Booker, who says he always sets his watch five minutes ahead and suggests she do the same. Later that night, the whole school attends the homecoming football game. Millie fulfills her duties as the team mascot, which she hopes will add value to her college applications. The game ends and she declines a ride home from her friends, as her mother is supposed to pick her up, but Paula drinks too much and passes out on the couch, leaving Millie stranded with a dead phone battery. When the stadium lights go out, she spots the butcher standing in the parking lot, and he walks towards her with a knife in hand. Millie runs back into the football stadium and hides under the bleachers, the butcher following close behind. Thinking that he went the other way, she crawls out from under the bleachers and the butcher drops down directly in front of her. Millie tries to run but he tackles her and uses La Dola to stab her in the left shoulder, causing an identical wound on the butcher's left shoulder. As he reaches down and sees that he is also bleeding, Charlene arrives and fires her gun in the air, forcing him to drop La Dola and flee. The following morning, the butcher wakes up and finds himself in Millie's body. He looks around the room, slowly coming to grips with what has occurred. Similarly, Millie wakes up on a dirty mattress in an abandoned warehouse. As she tries to figure out where she is, she sees herself in a mirror and screams at the reflection. The butcher takes a moment to inspect his hardware, then walks out to the kitchen where Paula is cooking breakfast. He sees the news channels reporting on the previous night's incident, and briefly sits down at the table to stuff himself. Charlene comes out to prepare her morning coffee, and the butcher prepares to stab her from behind before Paula intervenes, oblivious to his intentions. The butcher then decides that he will go to school as Millie, where he'll have plenty of teenagers to prey on. He borrows Charlene's leather jacket and gives Millie's body a makeover, which more than draws the attention of her classmates. Ryler, one of the cheerleaders who often teases Millie, comments on the new look, and they go off to the girls' locker room to talk about the attack. The butcher tricks Ryler into entering the cryo chamber, and barricades the door, eventually freezing her completely solid. Millie also goes to the school to look for Josh and Nyla, but must keep a low profile as everyone now has a sketch of the butcher. She finds them hanging out at their normal spot, but they take off as soon as they see the butcher's face. Millie catches up and tries to explain herself, accidentally pushing Nyla to the ground as she adapts to her newfound strength. They continue attacking her in self-defense, using anything they can find in the kitchen, but Millie blocks their advances and they eventually tire out. Millie confirms that it's actually her by performing the school mascots dance and demonstrating their secret handshake. Now fully convinced, she tells her friends the full story and Josh finds a photo of La Dola, which is revealed to be an ancient Spanish artifact. Nyla and Josh take the article for their Spanish teacher to translate. She reveals that according to legend, they have until midnight to reverse the body swap, otherwise the curse becomes permanent. Meanwhile, the butcher finds Millie's teacher, Mr. Fletcher, working alone in the wood shop. The butcher says nothing but puts on a pair of coveralls and goggles, then turns on the table saw and attacks Mr. Fletcher with a screwdriver. Now limited to the strength of a teenage girl, Mr. Fletcher pushes him to the ground, but the butcher recovers and uses the screwdriver to stab the teacher in the neck. He then moves over to the table saw and bisects Mr. Fletcher straight down the middle. He walks out of the wood shop and runs into Millie and friends in the hallway. The butcher screams to draw the nearby teacher's attention, 
and they run out of the school and speed away in Josh's car. The group doesn't get far before Charlene spots the vehicle and begins pursuing. Josh panics and pulls into a nearby shopping plaza. Millie hides in a dressing room, and Nyla returns soon after with an Aaron Rodgers mask to use as a disguise. They make it out of the store undetected and see that the butcher is at an arcade with Booker and his friends. They hastily head for the arcade as the butcher lures Booker into the laser tag arena. Booker explores the arena and the butcher prepares to stab him, but Millie arrives just in time and knocks the butcher out with a golf putter. Booker goes to run, still unaware of the body swap, so Millie chases him down and knocks him unconscious as well. Everyone then gathers back at Josh's house. The butcher's wrists are tied and he is bound to a chair. Booker wakes up shortly after and they try to explain what happened. Still not buying the body swap story, Millie convinces him when she begins reciting a poem that was anonymously left in his locker a few weeks ago. Booker then offers to help, and he joins Millie and Nyla at the police station where they plan to steal La Dola. As Nyla enters the police station, Booker joins Millie in the back seat. He confesses that he had been hoping she was the one who left the note in his locker, and says that he always liked her. Overwhelmed by the moment, he leans in and kisses her, but Millie suggests they wait until she retakes her normal body. Josh stays behind to watch the butcher, but his mother unexpectedly returns home, finding what appears to be Millie bound and gagged. Josh's mother grabs a knife and prepares to cut the ropes, but the butcher breaks free and takes it from her. He chases Josh and his mother down the hallway, where they lock themselves in the bedroom. At the same time, Nyla rushes into the police station and tells Charlene that the butcher is chasing her. Charlene goes outside to look, and Nyla breaks into the evidence locker. Just as she retrieves La Dola, Josh calls and tells her that the butcher escaped. Charlene returns to the station and catches Nyla with the stolen evidence, but they're interrupted by the butcher. Seeing the real butcher run into the police station, Millie follows him, only to be shot at by Charlene upon entering. The butcher grabs the dagger and races away in a stolen police cruiser. Millie apologetically disarms Charlene and locks her in the holding cell, before going after the butcher with Josh and Nyla. With only 15 minutes remaining, they track the butcher to the Blissfield homecoming dance. The butcher follows a few of the football players outside, where they are having a drink, then uses the liquor bottle to kill two of them. The third player pleads for his life, but the butcher kills him with a nearby chainsaw. Another football player takes Josh outside where Millie was last seen, but the butcher finds him there, reaching through the wall to kill him with a meat hook. The real Millie finds the butcher and confronts him head on. She recovers the dagger, but the police arrive before she can complete the swap. The butcher takes off running and Lila tackles him, holding him down with Joshua Millie plunges La Dola into her own shoulder and assumes her normal body, just before the police arrive to take down the butcher. On the way to the hospital, the butcher fakes his death by removing his pulse oximeter. Millie returns home and finds the back door hanging open, where she gets ambushed by the butcher who holds her at knife point. Charlene shows up and attempts to shoot him, but the butcher drops the bullets on the floor, having already emptied the gun. Paula smashes a bottle on his head, but he recovers quickly and strikes her in the face, then turns and tosses Charlene into the television. Millie picks up the knife and goes to stab him, but he easily takes it away and headbutts her to the floor. As the butcher lingers over her, tauntingly, Millie stuns him with a kick to the groin, and stabs him in the chest with a wooden post. The butcher kneels on the ground, gasping for air, and Millie kicks him in the back, impaling him with a wood post. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Please leave a like on the video, and subscribe to see more.